I committed my life to the, to the Lord at age 14 and went well for a while. I, I was well counselled. I fell away in university days and uh, didn't come back until age 28. Felt called to help ministries. In the late 90s, I remember praying very specifically, Lord, give me a ministry which is fair dinkum. That's an Australian term, means <laughs> genuine, authentic. The Lord must have laid it on uh, Dr. Yusuf's heart to come in and buy an Opal gift from my company. So we did that deal and then he said, that's an unusual name, Blake Locke. I'm sure I've heard it before. I said, you probably are a Christian and might have read my uncle's books. He's a theologian and published 82 books. He said, that's it, Professor E.M. Blake Locke. And so we got talking about leading the way with Dr. Michael Youssef and Jonathan was there. And Jonathan brought the ministry up on uh, the computer that was sitting in front of us. I had never actually opened the internet until then. Dr. Youssef said, I'll leave a book for you at the reception of the hotel that I'm staying at. And I picked it up. <laughs> and so Dr. Youssef came down to Sydney every uh, October and he came back the following year to buy another gift. He said, what did you think of the material? I said, it's fantastic. I loved it. It's really solid, sound, middle of the road gospel. And there's not a lot of it around here in Australia. And then I made the mistake of saying, I think that you should set your ministry up in Australia. He said, well, why don't you do it? I said, because I'm a jeweler. He said, well, we'll help. And uh, that was the beginning of it. I mean, Dr. Youssef is a great networker and he had lived and ministered in Sydney uh, in the 70s, formed a fabulous board. Uh, gave us $100,000 and said, uh, that's your launch pad. And we got a new, uh, well, we got a CEO whose father was well connected with uh, broadcasting and God answered our prayers. And uh, very soon we were on 500 odd radio stations. Uh, so the doors were opening, the doors opened into Indonesia and New Zealand, uh, Southeast Asia, Hong Kong. The spiritual climate in Australia is such that there's a great falling away. Australia so needs to come back to the gospel, come back to the Bible. It's, it's, I find it personally necessary to be reminded uh, of what the uncompromised truth of the gospel is. So to have uh, somebody like Dr. Youssef constantly and regularly and weekly and daily uh, sharing uncompromised truth uh, with, in such a disciplined manner is so essential. What I love about my experience with Leading the Way is to have found this perfectly ploughed field where the seed's going to fall, germinate, take root and grow and bear fruit, uh, some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. Rather than letting the society change the church, this is a way to turn that around and for society to be changed by that passionate proclamation of uncompromising truth. God's done it for nations in the past and uh, I'm sure God can do it again.